Hey everybody, it's Spirit Finger Sunday. We're back in the basement. Yes, I did not die of resin dust poisoning. We do, we do use one of these when I'm not filming. Don't you worry, okay? Uh, so either way, uh, the Germans and the Polish have delivered. Um, we've got our Aber photo etch made in Poland. They make good stuff in Poland. I don't, you know, never knock these Polish people. They make great freaking resin and, and uh, blah, 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 Zimmerit. So I was not happy. With, oh God, this thing is just gnarly with the, ugh, the Voyager. Their, their other engine covers were f okay. Uh, wait a minute. I'm not gonna say anything else. Okay, Voyager. Adios, amigo. Um, and we're gonna we're gonna crack open the Aber. I felt the back of this. It looks like it has some kind of machine. There's a lump. You can't see anything right now. It's stupid. There's a lump. It has a machine gun thing. It also has a little tiny itty bitty gun sight for the MG. That's cool. And we got our we got our Shumo kits. Um, these are the axle support bearing axle. The ball bearing axle supports, whatever. Um, so the combination of, oh, mama, these metal braces here with these guys bolted through them, uh, it's gonna act similar as having uh, a transmission brace from someplace like DKLM underneath the transmissions. What that brace does is it, it positively really locks these transmissions in place. Uh, metal tracks do cause some extra stress, so we're gonna get Oh my god, this thing is heavy. It's heavy. Oh, it rolls so nicely. Oh, my workbench is... Oh, sorry. Ever so slightly not perfectly level. And those ball-bearing road wheels on the bottom of the tank roll so smooth, it was creeping towards the edge. Um, and... Ah, oh, I dropped a piece. Oh, no. Ah, oh, here we go. Okay, so last time we, we got some of our stuff done this. I mean, the... Pres it's just about a perfect fit. The cutouts that were already in the uh, Zimmerit. Uh, if I wanted to lay a little flatter, I could trim a little bit out. This tiny overlap I could probably get rid of. Uh, but that's, that's just about fine. That's perfect. And we've got a lot more bits to put on the, the upper, upper hull here. Um, we're gonna put on the new, those new exhaust grills from uh, Aber. And we've got a bunch of very tiny, itty bitty fiddly handles and little things. And we're gonna get those on here. Some of this stuff needs to be shaved off. The little lump fake door handles that are on these hatches, these hat, the hatch handles, whatever. Um, those are gonna go away. And what else have we got? And those, those actually thankfully came with some sort of instruction, uh, you know, some basic instruction from uh, Shumo, even though it's all in German, at least they just use pictures. They figured out idiots like me are using their products that don't speak, uh, speak in the Deutsch. Um, so that's that. Uh, oh, when we get back to doing more Zimmerit, we finally got the proper sanding head for our big boy tool. I, I don't like cords. This is heavier uh, than the, uh, the uh, blah, 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 the Dremel, but uh, it, it's nicer. It's just nicer. And it's cordless. And then we gotta drill some uh, holes in the chassis, so the wife got me a new brushless, heavy duty, beautiful drill uh, to replace my old Makita drill that was 12 years old and not brushless. Uh, either way, not a tool channel, but I did a review on the set she got for Valentine's Day for me, and they are lovely. Um, so either way, we're gonna get back to work. Enough lip flapping. All right, Spirit Fingers will be right back. I completely forgot one thing. We're doing another giveaway. Continental, well, United States only. All right, um, yeah, I'll throw Canada in the mix. In North America and the United States. Uh, we got Amazon. You know, it's like Monopoly, you know, bank error in your favor, collect whatever. Um, yeah, Amazon error in my favor. They sent me two sets of these. They don't even have a record of the second one. I was complaining something else didn't show up. I said, I got two sets of this. They said, we don't have a record of it. it sorry, it's yours. Um, so I'm giving away these Weha metric nut drivers, 2.5 to six millimeter set, eight nut drivers, and the pouch that came with my screwdriver set, uh, cause I'm not gonna use it. And it's, it's a cool little pouch. It could store your little nut drivers. They're not the most commonly used tools, uh, but us RC tank people, uh, especially the Tamiya builders, okay? 
And we're going to come up with the stipulations for winning. They'll be in the description below. I love when people say, the description below, 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 whatever. Um, they'll be in there, and you can win those nut drivers. I may make it a multi-part viewing experience, but we've got this Mamma Jamma. It's from KC Tool. It is a big slab of aluminum. Three slabs bolted together specifically for holding precision screwdrivers. It is gorgeous. Look at that. Okay, now really enough lip flapping. Spare your fingers. Well, keeping with our uh, buying while building uh, scheme here, uh, getting those little those little handles in from Shumo, and uh, when life gives you lemons or a pen vise that is just pissing you off, yeah, just just rip the head off of it and chuck it in your 18 volt brushless super drill. Um, this was this was a bad idea. This was a good solution. This was a terrible idea, actually. <laughs> Uh, it was way too powerful, even on low, it's it's got some decent trigger control, but whatever. It got the job done, because doing these by hand, this is a very thick part of the plastic. Um, the upper hull is fairly, fairly stout, um, and, and, you know, solid. So either way, um, yeah, I ordered the Tamiya Handy Drill. Uh, it's the stupidest looking drill on the planet. It's apparently designed exactly for this, to power drill, but super low torque and RPM. But, uh... Yeah, I mean, this, this is getting the job done for now, but uh, it's a little sketchy, everyone. Just a little sketchy. Let's chuck a drill into another drill and put an itty-bitty giant tiny drill bit on it that the weight of this thing alone could crush. So, okay, whatever. Uh, we'll be back with more little bits like that, but that took a damn long time. I'll be back. Boom, 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 boom. We've got kettle drums. Okay. No, we don't. Um, this is the headlight. This is the la the front. Uh, this is solid in the kit. It does not have the slit. Come on. It does not have the slit cut out of it. Can you? It doesn't know what it wants to focus on. There we go. It doesn't have the slit cut out, so you got to drill out little holes and then carve it out with your hobby blade. And then this needs an itty bitty hole drilled into the bottom of it for to fit these itty bitty little tiny SMD. LEDs. Okay, so SMD, here we go, there's all the light. Um, little tiny things. Doesn't put out, it puts out enough light. It's a, it's a, it's a model. You're gonna know the headlight's lit. It's a warm white. So what we do is, after we very carefully drill our hole, um, we can, if this was a clear lens on the front, I would just back it with some silver paint. Um, but in this scenario, because we've got, there we go, and we pull it tight into that itty bitty hole, alright, and we're just gonna, we're just gonna press her back into the housing, okay, so we have, the, we should have the lens, the actual LED, because an SMD is directional. Should have the LM, there we go. Okay, she's facing forward. She's lit, beautiful. Uh, that's, that's the, uh, that's a little tricky. It's a little, little on the advanced side. <clears throat> then we'll, uh, we'll secure that with just a tiny dab of cray cray glue. Okay, let's just, Hit that with a little bit of kicker. And what we could do is we could just glue this this lens on now, um, or we could paint the lens separately. Paint, okay, mask this guy. Paint the lens, actually not even need to mask this guy. Paint the lens separately, then glue it on. And then once we have that front painted, we can cover the little slit a tiny piece of tape, and then just paint the rest of the housing as normal on the tank. And uh, all we have to do now is drill a tiny hole in the front, uh, the front glasses to pass this itty bitty little tiny baby wire through. And it's gonna go like that. You're barely gonna notice it. 
Um, once it's on there and it's tucked in, you're not going to see that. So that's how we get a working front headlight onto a, um, onto a, to me, a tank that doesn't have one. Uh, there's more to it than that. You do have to add a resistor. Oh my god, dropping things everywhere. Uh, these are these are the ones we're going to use for the 5.1 to 9 volt DC. So we add one of these resistors to the positive side of the LED. By you can tell the positive side because the positive side of the battery is here, and that's the copper cable on this particular brand of SMDs. So we're going to run that through. Then we're going to attach this to the copper cable, and then we're going to put a little uh, pigtail or a JST connector on it. And then what we normally do, see, and we got 3.5 to 5 volts and 9.1 to 14 volts. So 7.2 volt stick pack or right in the middle there. So if we find 7.2 voltage off of the DMD, which there's always an extra one on the DMD. There's always one there somewhere. We'll find it. We'll put it on there. And then we will have a working front headlight on our tank. And we already have that little green and brass convoy light in the back. So that's cool. We're going to have to mask that and hand paint that sucker, I think. That's going to be a little fiddly. Um, but that's, yeah, that's what I've been doing for the last hour. Uh, we also have... Oh, son of a... I got loose parts on the be on, uh, on the engine deck still. Okay. Uh, I got all these little itty-bitty metal things from Shumo. The little hatch grab handles and these little hooks for lifting up this uh, transmission access cover in real life, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and then here's the rear engine deck. Uh, we got the nice the nice Abra photo etch grills on there. So much nicer. So much nicer than, uh, than those uh, questionable questionable oh, there's a little extra ATAC Zimmer there. I gotta trim it down to fit perfect. But, uh, yeah, that's where we, we are. We're, we got more stuff to do on the engine deck. I have a little more photo etch. They give you this big, ugly thing to go here on the engine deck. But Aber gives you a beautiful little round bit to throw on there, which I think I'm going to do. That looks that looks a little cooler. I like, I like nice little metal meshy grill things on my on my tank so i'm gonna go with that and uh yeah spirit finger sunday will be back see you soon okay so we got our little headlight uh i just primered the front um <clears throat> i can tape it off and then i'll just touch it up with hand paint uh once i'm done with that but we got to check for light light leaks so let's turn off the kitchen lights yeah i got some cool stuff down here the whole thing is on that so we have a little Tiny light leaking, okay? Right out of the neck, the back of it. So when we go to paint it, we just have to keep that in mind and test and test and test, okay? But those are gonna be easily dealt with with, with some NATO black base coat, and uh, that's that. Oh my God, whoa, that's bright. All right, so we got that done. We've drilled a hole in the front. You can barely see it, but what we're gonna do as we fish our itty bitty little wires. Oh, come on. Ian, don't do this on camera. Ian, don't do this on camera. Ian, you're an idiot. Okay. In this scenario, we're gonna twist these little guys together a bit. There we go. Twisters are lovers. Let's see. There we go. Ah, beautiful. We're gonna pull her in. And then shove her in her hole. Okay, so we gotta glue this sucker down. We got our wires coming through the back. Something just fell off. Oh, that's this little guy with the screw. That's what secures the upper hull to the lower hull when we're done building. <clears throat> so I'm gonna get this glued on, and then I think it's time. It's time for side skirts. Some people are pro side skirt, some people are anti side skirt. I'm I'm doing this tank with side skirts. I want it to be like a kind of fresh out of the fact, just rolled out of the shop, pre-production-ish, 
Porsche turret-ish, whatever. It's, it's going to be a what-if tank no matter what. I do a lot of what-if. Um, I, I can't go to the um, minutia of duplicating a, you know, a museum tank, which many guys already do excellently well. I don't need to be another one of them. I'm going to do something not unique, unique, but something less common. But already done plenty of times, I'm sure. Either way, uh, Spirit Fingers will be back with you in a little bit. Spirit Finger Sundays again. Uh, it's a little less perky um, because I realized I was putting on, I, I was getting my fenders on. Uh, these are normally not glued together, but they were, they were a little out of, a little out of alignment. So I used a little bit of quick setting. Ah, uh, you got to trim this emirate for the fenders. So what we did was we bolted on the fenders and then I was just like, these are just a little wonky. So I just went around it with a perfect, you know, a nice, perfect new blade on, on a hobby knife, scored all the Zimmerit, and thankfully, the no more nails, it holds the Zimmerit on just fine, um, but uh, it's able to peel off, not too hard. I mean, I don't know long term, but, but somebody said it worked fine. I know, I'm using like friggin' construction wood glue here. So we're gonna... Excuse my little burp. We're gonna bolt those back on, and we should be good to go. Uh, we're gonna have to do the same thing with the other side. So, there's your pro tip. If you're using ATAG Zimmeret and you're a fender person, uh, you got to uh, trim your Zimmeret. Trim your Zimmeret. That's, uh, it doesn't rhyme, but whatever. Okay, back to work. We'll see you in a little bit. All right, so we're on the other side, and we've scored our zimmer it you know with the fenders on and then we've scored it and then we're going to take our little hobby knife and i found the easiest way and we kind of keep working our way under here and we I didn't score it perfectly. <laughs> I didn't score it perfectly. And then we can finally just sort of and at the end here we want to be a little a little bit careful. There we go. And we've got a tiny little morsel of it there. There we go. Um, you, you can kind of see where the No More Nails glue is. Um, I didn't really slather this crap on super thick. I just kind of gave it a nice thin coating. You could see some areas are lighter than other areas. Maybe you can make that out on camera. Like, the darker area, glue. The lighter area, I think, less glue. Or vice versa. Whatever. But you can see the difference in the color. Um, but we've got all our little extra bits of Zimmerit off. The USA Gundam Store Hobby Knife. Who makes it for them? I don't know, but I like it. It's been working good. So now we could bolt these side fenders on and move on to uh, some internal, uh, looks like, turret rotation motor. And they want us to throw the machine gun, the whole machine gun in, but uh, we're probably not going to do that. Uh, you know, we like to paint in you know, stages, units, accessories, stowage, etc. So, uh, either way, we'll be right back with Spirit Finger Sunday. Okay, turret rotation gearbox, guys, gals. Turret rotation, ugh, turret rotation gearbox. So this is the turret rotation gearbox from Tamiya. It has a, a little uh, slipper clutch, spring-loaded plasticky uh, gear in here for to protect... Um, you know, the clutch from, uh, basically, I don't know, actually working all the time. No, it also protects it if you, like, if you, like, whacked the, the barrel, you know, you don't want to strip gears. Normally what we do is we, we get one of these six-speed Tamiya gearboxes. Hey, look at that, we got a little, little drive shaft there. So we get one of these six-speed gearboxes, and we pirate. Now it comes with three of them usually. Yep, 
there we go. And you would take this solid blue gear, okay, and you would unscrew this screw and you would replace the clutch screw, the clutch gear in here, with this. Now, that's like going drag racing and putting a spool differential in your rear axle. A spool is basically just a solid gear. There's no differential action. Um, it just puts down power to both wheels equally all the time. We're not doing that on this build. We are going to experiment. So if you don't have a spool for your rear axle, you could do a, you know, you end up with a one wheel burnout um, or slipping action, which is what this does quite frequently with uh, to me a tanks. Uh, we only really do this for the turret rotation, not the barrel elevation. Um, it's generally not needed. If you found it needed, you could do it. You swap out the gear, blah, blah, blah. Now, what a lot of cheap redneck drag racers do in the U.S. is they open up their old differential. They blow all the grease out. Um, you know, they air compress and, and, and break clean all the grease that they can get out of there. And they just take a welder and they just... And just weld the damn thing solid. That's what we're doing here. What I did was... I noticed there was not already a lot of grease on here. So I sprayed some of it out with brake cleaner, and then I uh, threw some crazy glue in there and hit it with uh, CA Kicker. And then I found other voids, and I, I, put, I put plastic weld in there. Now these are nylon gears. I don't know how plastic weld works on nylon. It says multipurpose evaporative formula plastruct. ABS, styrene, butyrate, and acrylic, whatever. Um, so the crazy glue will probably hold it. But we're going to try that. It should work fine and make this a solid gear instead of having a clutch action to it or a slipper clutch action to it. Um, so we're going to get that bolted in with these little wheelie doohickeys. And when we get to the upper turret, when we get to the turret on this thing, that's going to be where stuff gets a little weird because the Porsche turret, we call it a Porsche turret, everyone knows it's a Krupp, pre-production turret. Thank you. Just, just putting it out there again for the uh, more fastidious, we won't call them rivet counters per se, but once we get to that turret, things are going to get weird. Uh, we know there, I know there's, there's things missing from that, that turret that the normal production turret for the full option has. We'll deal with it. Again, German tank, German tool giveaway in this video. Um, I'm going to ask some specific questions, okay, in the description. And the first subscriber to comment with the correct answers will win. Isn't that awesome? That's awesome. I love it. Okay, back to work. <clears throat> well, okay, progress. Uh, we got our headlight in, obviously all those little bits on the upper deck. And side skirts with no Phillips head screws. We got hex bolts holding those suckers in. That looks super especial. We've got our turret rotation gearbox with the uh, welded slipper clutch. We've got our little roller doohickeys. Trick is, you know, tighten these by hand at the end and just, just, you just want them, you know, you want them to move easily, but not be uh, sticky. But yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at that. It's lovely. So, uh, that's done. Uh, I'm gonna, I guess I'll build the machine gun, um, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna install it just yet. I'm gonna paint that separately. I'm gonna glue that in at the end. And then uh, some front, front toe hooks. And then we're gonna supposed to put this onto the chassis and uh, put in uh, the turret rollers. We have some upgraded uh, Shumo Kits rollers for that. I don't know exactly what's different. I think they're like a millimeter bigger to bring the turret up a tiny bit. And then we've got turret stuff happening. So like I said, this is where shit's gonna get weird. We are going to have to adapt and I'm not quite sure how it's going to work. I may be completely screwed. 
I mean, I don't want to have to end up just building this as a production turret. I did spend the 100 bucks on the Porsche turret kit. So I want to make it work. And we'll, we'll figure it out, but that might take a little while. So, yes. I think, I think this is the end of this episode. Um, I, may, I'm, I may poke around with the turret a little. Maybe, maybe. If this is the end of the episode, it's the end of the episode. Again, don't miss out on the... Oh, we got 600 subscribers as of today. That's amazing. We're going to give away a Weeha Hex Driver. North America or U.S., just United States and, and Canada, okay? That's it. I can't afford to ship it to Europe or Australia or anything. I'd love to, okay? Listen, if you're in Europe, you can get these way cheaper than us probably in the States, you know, because they're made in Poland, okay? I'm going to have some questions in the comments. You're going to have to watch a whole damn video to come up with the answers. First person to answer everything correctly wins. And by the way, 90% of the people that watch my videos, and I'm grateful for them, but they're not subscribed. My God, if that, if even half of them subscribed, we might make $3 a month in ad revenue, maybe $17.50 a month. Who knows? Either way, it would, it would supplement the budget for what we do on the channel. I'm not trying to be that guy and if you have an ad block browser whatever i don't care i have an ad block browser i don't like ads on youtube as much as anybody else but either way if i ah if we, yeah, it would be nice also you know a little boost to my very low moderate mid uh, how do you have low self-esteem and a big ego at the same time because i've been told both i don't know how that works spirit fingers uh either way end of the episode most likely uh, if there's a little bonus footage at the end, maybe, but I don't know. We'll see what we, we'll see what we see. Either way, back to my motion picture score playlist on Spotify, and, uh, oh, you, boy. Okay. Hey, we're not following the normal manual anymore. So, uh, see you next time, and, uh, come back for more. Uh, maybe not Spirit Finger Sunday. Uh, but either way. Uh, thanks for watching, and have a great evening, everybody, or morning, or whenever the hell you're watching this. Bye-bye! Bonus spirit finger footage! We waited almost three, nearly four weeks for these final drive axle drive shaft braces, and they sent us the wrong ones! Jeez Louise, Germany! I don't know what tank these were for, but because they were for a Tamiya, they fit over the axles perfectly. We had to notch them with the Dremel, and we had to make our own two holes instead of just one hole. I think it was supposed to... The one for the Tiger supposed to... The King Tiger supposed to go into that hole. Yeah, so much for that. But we did both sides, and... Uh, oh, man. Yeah, yeah, there's, there's no play whatsoever there. Oh, there's your bonus footage. I just want to kill myself sometimes. I've dropped the tool. All right. Getting a little frustrated. It might, there might be more bonus footage. Who knows? But either way, goodbye. Bonus, bonus Spirit Finger Sunday coverage. Ah, uh, this is going to be a huge bitch. Um, this thing, this thing, this is the bottom of the, uh, the turret. It builds entirely different. Uh, oh god. It, it's so different, it's ridiculous. Um, this is the aluminum barrel from the production, and it doesn't fit into the thing that's for to go around the barrel on the Porsche. So I took the thing from the production and put it on the Porsche thing, and it, it it's, okay, it's, it's kinda, and then that sort of works, kinda. Uh, I might need more parts from Germany. I might have to... I'm not sure. I'm going to talk to some people. I am going to talk to some people on the forums, and I'm going to communicate with a famous Daryl Turner about what the hell to do with this thing. But, uh, yeah, there's your bonus footage for the end of this episode. We will be back. We will. I want to build the Porsche turret, or the pre-production turret, onto my 
full option King Tiger, but dear God, what a bitch so far. Not so far, really. It hasn't been too bad, except for the wrong axle supports, but either way. Um, questions in the comment section. Questions in the this comment questions in the description. Answer all the questions. Win the Weehaws. Okay? Just that simple. North America, United States, and Canada only. I, I can't I can't just ship all over the place anymore. It's ridiculous. It's not easy. Customs forms, all that. Not dealing with can't deal with it. Okay? But yeah, there we go. Alright. That's really it for tonight. I've gotta wind down. I'm at 11. Bring it, bring it down a notchy. Okay. See you next time.